Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of my Pokemon Silver playthrough. Back episode 14. In the last episode, this is 15. This is episode 15. In the last episode, um, bad stuff happened. We lost the save halfway through the episode. We should be all back to normal now. I did say I was going to do some training. I did, so everyone is now level 32. Um, we did also catch Nav, who is actually holding something. What's Nav holding? I, yeah, I caught Nav. I don't know what it's holding. Um... So Nav has, it's all an, an Everstone, shit, that's not right actually. Tackle, self-destruct, rock throw, and magnitude. Um, two dads, didn't learn anything, I rejected force, like, charge, learn flamethrower, and other than that, I think that's it. Notable, or noteworthy things, I guess, that sentence didn't make a great deal of sense. So now we're going to go down and head to the island, which I don't remember the name of. Tentacle. Tentacle's a pretty, pretty good Pokemon. Tentacruel, I actually do quite like Tentacruel, honestly, but we don't need it, because we have um, a Feraligator, so we don't need that. We also have a Suicune, so, you know, if, if, even if I don't want to use the Feraligator, I can use the Suicune, um, which I might be doing, I still haven't decided on that. Swimmer Paula wants to battle. Star you. So we uh, do need to catch up with level-wise. Actually, we're still... Level 32 and we're getting like 19 trainers, although the trainer level will um, increase quite a lot when we get to the next area after Mahogany Town, um, but we need to do this gym first. So we're not, we're a little bit over leveled now, but later on we won't be as over leveled. Um, so I think two dads learned Psychic at 36, I think, but I'm not entirely sure on that. I could have looked it up, but I didn't. To be fair, I, I did have quite a lot to do in between the last episode. My voice just cracked. Um, I did have to get Graveler, and I obviously had to do the training and stuff, so... That's fine. Uh, fortunately, I did catch a female Graveler as well, so Nav is still true to her own original form. She's pretty cool. Ooh, I'm feeling dizzy. Good on ya. So, I think... it's. I know it's pretty much just down, but it's down and off to the left, which I actually... Because I actually remember slightly. I have been to it before. I mean, obviously, I've played this game before, but... I went to it, obviously, like, the original thing which mean, made me lo lose the save was because I was, like, messing around with other saves, trying to progress the story to figure out what was happening next. Hello, I'm on my way to Whirl Island. Oh, yeah, that's the thing as well. I do actually... She's going to, she said she was going to explore it with friends, but she's, like, blatantly by herself. I did get Whirlpool. We, I mean, obviously, we have Whirlpool, because um, Lance gave it to us after the um, Gyarados signal thing escapades. Um, which I, was, I believe was the name, the official name of the side quest, the Gyarados signal thing es escapades. Um, anyway, so we could go there and we could attempt to get Lugia at some point. I believe that's where Lugia is. Um, and as cool as Lugia is as a Pokemon, and Lugia was one of my favourite Pokemons as a kid, in my opinion, it's not very good. Um, you can teach it some good moves with TM, but in my opinion, its move pool isn't really that great. Um, it doesn't, it definitely doesn't outweigh any of the Pokemon I have on my team, at least, for sure. Having said that, it would be a great Pokemon for Fly, and that is something that I did realise when I was, actually realised that whilst I was, um, trying to get, like, sort my save back, basically, um, was that I would need a Fly Pokemon, because I don't have one. I could use Dragon, uh, Dragonair, Dragonair, Dr Dratine, no, wait, what? Dragonite, yes, I could use Dragonite. But Dragonair doesn't evolve into Dragonite until level 50 freaking 5. So until then, I think I am going to have to catch some sort of bird Pokemon um, as a a slave. Um, as Roshank would call them. Yeah, I'm going to have to catch a flying Pokemon as, a, uh, as an HM slave, just so I can fly somewhere. And, you know, I must admit, um, Lugia would be a pretty cool slave. I'm not going to lie. Oh, what's, what's your flying Pokemon... Uh, well, it's, it's a slave, so I don't actually use it for battle or anything, but, oh, you know, it's a, um, it's just a Lugia, no big deal. I think I'm going the wrong way here. But, don't, oh, no, I think we might be here. Yes, we're here. This is the music, I believe. Yeah, we did it. Okay, that's further than I thought. Um, what have we got going on here? Cyan Wood City Photo Studio. Take a snapshot as a keepsake. Oh, that doesn't work. Actually, that does something pretty funny. <laughs> Wait, let me show this. I think it still does it. How about a photo for a souvenir? Yeah, take a picture of Dragonair. Probably my best looking Pokemon. 
Yeah. Printer error 2. Check Game Boy for printer manual. Press B to cancel. It's pretty funny. Okay, anyway. Let's move on. <laughs> um, Cyan Ward, Chan Ward, whatever. Oh, I didn't realise there was a gym on this island. Okay, I guess I need to do that then. Chan Ward sounds like a weird sort of weeb term. For, like a hentai term for people who get off on quote unquote chans. Like, oh, have you seen the latest episode of X anime? Gave me some hella good Chan Ward. I don't know, it's uh, Ch Chan Ward. I feel it is Scion Ward. We'll you know, we'll just stick with Scion Ward. Scion being my second favourite character from Spelunky. <laughs> Scion's a pretty good character. Although I am using uh, Meat Boy at the moment because on my PC I don't have um, Round Boy unlocked. Round Boy is my usual character. Pokemon appear to be fine. Is something worrying you? Uh, the Lighthouse Pokemon is in trouble for sure. Got it. This ought to do the trick. So yeah, we take that back, we heal the Amphros, and then it goes back to its duties, and the lady next to it can go back to her gym. Well, there's a gym here, which I actually didn't realise, so I guess I'm going to do that now. Uh, what type is it, actually? Uh, Cyan Ward Pokemon City Gym, Leader Chuck, oh, fight type, okay. Throwing fists to the, the talking. Um, oh, this is the one where you get, like, just basically a straight line, you get forced into fights. The next gym, the Steel Gym, is a straight line as well, but there's no trainers in it. So, you know, because they're still on holiday, I guess. Um, that dude looks henge as fuck. Black Belt Yoshi. Black Belt Yoshi's on our Hitmon Lee. That's, that's a good question for the comments. Uh, do you guys prefer Hitman Lee, Hitman Chan, or Hitman Top? I prefer Hitman Lee, honestly. I think for looks, Hitman Lee, I think, looks a bit cooler, in my opinion. I just like the way Hitman Lee looks. It's pretty neat. Um, but I think fighting Hitman Chan's probably a bit better. Um, but yeah. Hitman Top can be pretty powerful if you give it the right move set. But yeah. So I guess <laughs> that didn't really answer any questions. I'm gonna go with Hitman Lee, I would say Hitman Lee. Definitely does look cooler. However, I probably would say for fighting Hitman Chan. But if I had to pick one, I'd say Hitman Lee for sure. Definitely one hundred percent Hitman Lee. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of those of those three. Hitman Chuck. Hitman Chuck Norris. If only. Okay. Um, I guess we're just gonna keep side beaming these because we don't really need to do much. I guess we're not over leveled anymore then, because that's a level 27 and this is just a trainer. Yeah, the pacing for this game's a little weird. I think I'm doing things in the right order. In which case this isn't too bad. That's shocking. Why? Because I'm so freaking powerful. Oh shit, we need strength here. Do we have strength? Oh, I think we do. I think Nav had it and I haven't taught it to Nav yet. Let me just speed through this because I actually want to try this. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Was he called Black Belt Knob? Black Belt Knob. He was called Black Belt Knob. He... No one is ever going to... That's going to be held against him for his whole life. Who names a kid Knob? Right, do we have strength? Please say we have strength. Because if I don't, I'm slightly dumbfounded. Caught Surf, Whirlpool, shit. We don't have strength. Buttocks, we don't have strength, so what do I do? What do I do? Um, Be right back. They call me Yeti. Because it's my name. And I'm really good at playing games. I'm so good at freestyle. Okay, I'm back. Uh, I... I've been told you need to just talk to some dude. The Pokemon gym trainers, they're uh, macho bullies. If I stick around, they might come after me. Here's some advice. The gym leader uses the fighting type, so you should confound him with psychic Pokemon. Oh, right, okay, that'll be why I was raping with um, two dads. Why about Pokemon before they can use their physical strength? Um, you? Did you meet the Pokemaniac? He's always bragging about his rare Pokemon. Whoa, 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 internet, you said it was in the Pokemon Center. Anyone want to give me strength? Chuck the gym leader spars with his fighting Pokemon. Don't know how I feel about that. How about you? I am in shock. A guy about your age with piercing eyes and long hair came in. Oh, it's probably... No. He scared me into giving me my prized Pokemon. I still have one left. What if he comes back? Oh, this is the guy that wants you to look after a Shucky. What will I do if he comes back? He won't let me take it anyway because I have a full team. So he won't let me take it unless I have a full, uh, don't have a full team. Uh, you crossed the sea to get here. That must have been hard. It would be much easier if your Pokemon knew how to fly. But you can't use fly without this city's gym badge. If 
you be the gym leader here, you could see me. I'll have a nice gift for you. Oh, so if I be the gym leader, she'll give me fly. Who has... What city is this? This is Cyanwood. Shit. Oh, okay, I need to be right back again. Todd, fuck off. I don't give a fuck. Sora and Abra, great. I have a Cabra. Get over it. Get over yourself, Todd. Dude, it's so pretentious. Uh, it's in Olivine. It's in Olivine Cafe. Be right back again. Alright, we are back. Um, I had to just fight about like eight traders on the way. Crossing the sea, then listen up. There are whirlpools on the way to Chanwood. Yeah, that's not what I want to know. I already know that. How about you? Ha! Your Pokemon sure look like lightweights. You wanna freaking go, mate? One of them's literally a boulder. Get over yourself. They don't have the power to move the boulders aside. I know they don't. Here, use this. Thank you very much. Okay, I forgive you. You need Golden Rods, Jim. I am way ahead of you, mate. I was like four episodes ago. Wait, have we done Golden Rods, Jim? Please say we've done Golden Rods, Jim. Um, yeah. The buff bod is all I saw then. Right. Can we do this? Please say we can freaking do this. Boost up an HM, it contains strength. Okay. Yes. Teach it to. Oh, actually, buffer might be good. Let's teach it to buffer, actually. Yeah, I want Buffer to know it. Oh no, Buffer can't let more learn more than four moves. Whatever will we do? I'll tell you what we'll freaking do. Oh shit, what did I just teach it over? Poison Sing? Oh well. We can make do. Um uh, screw be right back in. I'm just gonna keep going. We'll speed up. Skip forward about 30 seconds if you want. I mean we don't have to worry about trainers anymore because I fought about eight hundred of them. Yeah, I came through this bit. Just because I didn't know the way. At least I know the way now. Okay, maybe 30 seconds. That was an accident. I tried to run away. I accidentally killed him. Okay, welcome back. Uh, I was going to say welcome back, Skippers, but I am not putting an annotation up for you. <laughs> for like two seconds. Right, let me think. I think I want to do this. Want to use strength? Yes. I think I want to push this one up. I know people were probably like. I think Rotaka probably was like this because I remember he commented something saying like when I went to a rival fight and I didn't have Fiori Cutter he was saying about how when I was going into the fight he was like shouting at the screens on me to use Fiori Cutter or learn Fiori Cutter. Black Belt Lung. So he was probably looking at me going in the gym like you need freaking strength. Sorry dude I got it don't worry. I got this. So I guess I am going to stick with 2000. Oh shit I have like no PP left. I have 6 left now. Mankey's a really cool Pokemon. I had a Mankey in my first Red playthrough and spent forever training it up to a Primeape. And I was so proud when I did. It's a really cool Pokemon. Okay, we're just gonna take all these dudes out. And yeah, Chuck. Let's go, mate. Right. Wahaha! So, you've come this far. Yes, I have. Let me tell you, I'm tough. If you say so, my Pokemon will crush stones and shatter bones. I mean, you can tell he's practiced that. Watch this. Chuck. <laughs> Erg. Org. That was kind of impressive, I guess. There, scared now, are you? Not really. What? It has nothing to do with Pokemon. That's true. Come on, we shall do battle. Oh, he just basically showed his strength by moving that. So that's, yeah, not very intimidating. Honestly, you look way less, like, hench and scary than a lot of the people who have already fought in your gym. Just throwing that out there. Although you do have better Pokemon. Probably me. Yeah, but I... Force Runner! Yeah, okay, I guess I would be slightly scared if it was not for the ability to do this. Oop. Oh no, I'm terrified. Get shit on. So yeah, two dads did get some XP from... He didn't level up or anything, but he did get some XP from fighting about 18 freaking trainers. Polyrath's pretty cool as well. Polyrath looks very hench. These are the fighting Pokemon in, in this game are pretty cool to be fair. In this gen. Well, I guess in every gen after this, because like every gen after this has the preceding gens. Not, well, I mean, not necessarily, but it's sort of how it works, I guess. Post game and all that. Level 36. Dope! Leader Shock was defeated while wow, I was really tough. What? Hurt? I lost. How about that? You're worthy of Storm Badge. That seems like a weird name for a fighting badge. 
It seems more like a, like a lightning badge, or like an electric badge or something. It's lightning type, isn't it? Or is it electric type? I don't know. Level 70 obey. Oh, that'll be why. I was kind of surprised for alligator was obeying, but I guess. It was like level 60 was the cap before then. Right, what's this? Seismic toss, is it? Dynamic punch. Oh, that's pretty good. It doesn't always hit, but when it does, it causes confusion. That's pretty good, actually. It's not a bad move. I quite like me a bit of dynamic punch. Oh, where's the dude here? Sign would see. Uh, Nvidia GeForce game ready driver is available. Oh, shit. Uh, actually, I'm gonna go for lunch after this, so hopefully that's not too bad. I can install it when I'm eating lunch. Um, so I guess we go back now. Yeah, I guess we go back now, because we have the medicine already. We did that. Oh, shit, fly. Hello, lady. Can I have fly? Even though I can't use it. I'll try and catch a Pokemon off screen that can learn fly. Yes, it would have been easier. Then you should take this HM, HMO2. My husband's getting a little chubby. That's, I mean, if you want to talk about him behind his back. I want to check the this to see if I have if, if, if I even have any Pokemon in my PC. Togepi, yeah. Obviously, yeah, Togepi was row previously. Oh, that's a change that I didn't mention um, purely because um, I didn't feel like it was necessary. Um, that, and I did forget as well, but that's more of a side note. <laughs> yeah, row is just Togepi now for starters, and also he's sat in the box because... Oh well. I did like the idea of like having him in the daycare center and coming back right at the end of the game to see how, how high a level he was. I think that would have been pretty cool, but oh well. I forgot, so get over it. Just keep going here. We have uh, another fucking fight. You're lucky I healed and I have some side beams for you. See what you have to say. I think talking to people is pretty valuable in this game. Monica of Monday, as a token of our friendship, I have a gift for you. Sharp beak. That increases flying type moves powers, right? Yeah, talking to people in this game is pretty important. Like, I would not have known the strength was just like in that random cafe at some random dude. Okay, so let's go ahead and move up here. I'm going to stop speeding up. Um, so I'll give this to the Ampharos, and then we can walk back to the gym and then end the episode there. And we can start the next episode um, with doing the gym. Although I am going to go and eat between episodes. Not that that matters to any of you guys. I thought I'd just share it with you. Because why not? Oh, fuck. Yeah, this fight is a thing that I'm doing really quickly because fuck fighting. Okay, now I am really overleveled. Maybe I should change my lead for this next gym. The only problem is it's a steel type. So for alligate is probably my best bet. It's, no, this fire is super effective in steel, isn't it? Is that a real thing or am I talking through my ass here? Just in case, I'm going to try and avoid these trenches just in case I already have done so. And then I want to go on this side so I don't have to fight this dude because I know I did that before. Oh, go this way. I nearly went into the fight then anyway. Shit, I knew I didn't fight that guy. Oh well, he has fighting types or whatever. Just keep destroying him. If I see super effective, then I think I'll use um, Charge because he has Flamethrower and Ember. Uh, will that medicine cure Amphi? Um, no, it won't. I just, you know, felt like randomly giving you a potion. It's actually poison, it'll kill Amphi. How are you feeling? Dope. That flash seemed unnecessary. Palu, Palulu. Palu, Palulu, Palu, Palulu. Oh, I'm so relieved. This is just so wonderful. Thank you so very much. I will return to the gym. Thank God for that. And hurry up. See what you have to say for yourself, making me do all our work. Amphi, Palu, Palu, the same thing. Well, you have a good job. A go you have a good job, you have a good... Oh, the flash was, because it's an Amphros, it was like making lightning. Making light happen. So let's go ahead and walk over to the gym and not bike, because... Sadness, I don't have a bike. I mean, it's not particularly far away, but you know. Um, I will look into if fire type is actually super effective. So yeah, in the next episode, we will do this gym. Let's do the outro outside. Thank you very much for watching. If you did like this video, be sure to leave a like. Thanks for all the support I've been getting on these videos means a lot. Um, just check out the playlist at the link in the description, subscribe for more content. Um, some of it will be similar, some of it won't be. Oh well, it's just the way the world works. Who how the whole world works? A quote from the one. The man, the legend, Quaffine. Um, yeah, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace off.